right now the first thing i need to say is thank you so much for always coming um to this channel that i really appreciate you and to our first time viewers this is the right place for you to learn like this is the right channel <laughs> for you to grow your knowledge so thank you so much for stopping by don't just stop by don't just stop by remember to click on the like button if you found this video helpful and remember to click on the subscribe button as well if you are yet um to do so today i'll be making um this um rack this is a storage rack you can call it anything you like so it is a storage rack to me it is a storage rack it's a storage rack. so let's get started anyway you can modify it and remove and add to it it's all yours let's get started for the measurements i'll be working with length of seven inches seven inches of length there's no need for extra sewing allowance seven inches of length and then for the width i'll be working with 10 inches for the width i'll be working with 10 inches there's no need for extra allowance so i'll connect the lines together and then i'll cut it out but before cutting it out uh the edges i'll give it a round curve like half inch to the side and half inch downward and i'll connect it together in a you know, round shape and then cut it out Now I have my pattern cut out already. I believe you understand. Now the next thing I need to do now is um, on all the edges, let's start from one side. At the edge, I'll rule a straight line for about two inches. Yes, about two inches or one and a half inches. And then after ruling that straight line, it's going to be at the middle of the edge. Do you understand? The middle of the round shape. So after that, I'll take in half inch on both sides, just like a dart. If you're into fashion um, design, it's just like a dart. Do you understand? So I'll take half an inch on both sides and then I'll cut it out. Yes, I'll cut it out. And then I'll repeat the same process for the other three sides. And once I'm done with the pattern, once I have my pattern, I'll replicate the same thing on my leather material. Now I have my leather material cut out. So the next thing I need to do now is, is to sew all the edges, you know. So um, in sewing the edges, what I need to do is just to place one side on top of another side like it won't be up to an half inch the overlap won't be up to an half inch just like one quarter of an inch do you understand so i just need to place it on each other and then run a stitch So here's the outcome. Like I said, if you're into fashion design, you understand better. <laughs> but for the sake of the bag makers, 
um, trust me, it is um, very, you know, clear. Yes, very clear. So just have to sew it like a dart. And then this is what we have. This is what we have. And then I'll repeat the same process for for the others. So I'll repeat the same process for the other size. Please, if you've not yet subscribed, it won't be nice leaving this channel without subscribing. Like, it won't be nice. Trust me, it won't be nice. So just click on the subscribe button now. And don't forget, please, the like button is even more important than the um, subscribe button. Trust me. Like, the like button. Because the more you like, the more YouTube um, recommend the video to other people to watch. Do you understand? By doing so, we reach a larger audience. Do you understand? So please, don't forget to click on the um, like button. I love you so much. Like, trust me, I do love you. Even though I don't know you. <laughs> but I love you. I love you. Thank you so much. And once I'm done with that, I'll be running a stitch on all the side. Like I'll be running a stitch all through about half an inch or one quarter an inch. Yes, just um, one quarter inch is fine. Yeah, I believe that is fine. So I'll just run the stitch all round. Now I'm done with the sewing and this is what I have. This is the outcome. This is how it's looking. Um, trust me, based on the picture, this is what we have. But <laughs> like based on my own preference, I think I would need to add and do to it like just a tiny and do about one inch of width, the wideness, one inch is fine. If you like, you can do so. And if you like, you know, is your decision, is your preference. So this is what I want. Um, this is the outcome. This is how it is looking. Like I said, it is a um, rack is a storage rack so anything can be stored inside <laughs> like anything can be stored inside you just have to make sure you use a very thick material you can actually use a um, double face a double face material but a very thick one like a very thick one that you know yes uh -huh. <laughs> this one is very thick so that's what i would advise you to use and this trust me this is it's looking nice um let me just show you when i put something some things into it let me just show you when i put some things into it hey gay gay <laughs> well, thank you so much bye